Today, I'm going to be making Martha Jane Howell's Pineapple Casserole. This recipe is from Being Dead is No Excuse, the official Southern Ladies Guide to Hosting the Perfect Funeral. I put a poll up for my Patreon members and my YouTube members, and I gave them a choice of three um, items with which would they like to see a recipe for first and pineapple casserole won the poll so I'm going to tell you what you're going to name you need two cans of uh, 20 ounces crushed pineapple and we're going to be draining the juice from these you need five tablespoons of flour a half cup of sugar one cup or eight ounces grated cheese I'm going to grate this you need a sleeve and a half of Ritz crackers, and you need one stick of butter. You also need a pan that you can spray with vegetable spray. So the first thing you want to do is I'm gonna grease this pan with the vegetable oil. I'm gonna uh, preheat my oven to 350 degrees. I'm going to drain the juice out of my pineapple. I'm gonna shred this block of cheese and I'm gonna melt the stick of butter and then I'll be back. Okay, so I got all the juice out and you don't need the juice. You're not gonna use it so you can just do what you want, drink it, whatever. Uh, but put this in the bottom of your greased uh, baking dish. And it says a two quart oblong dish. Uh, this is what I have, so this is what I'm using, and you can see there was still some juice in there. It's hard to get all the juice out of the, uh, of, out of the crushed pineapple, uh, because it's, it's so, um, mushy. It's like, uh, Kevin compared it to applesauce. That's what it's like. It's almost like applesauce, but you know you're gonna have a little bit of juice in there. There's just no way, unless you're patting it with a paper towel. Or squishing it through a strainer or something. Yeah, there's no way you're gonna be able to get all that out. But I think, um, I think they know that and they expect you to have some juice. So anyway, we have our pineapple. So we're gonna take our flour and sugar and I used my spoon, so I'm gonna just mix this together here. And then dump your cheese in here. That's that whole, that whole block. And mix this together. Just coat your cheese. Take this, I'm gonna get one more little spoon of this off of here. Not that I think it'll matter that much. You're always gonna have juice on here. Okay, take your cheese, pour it on top of your pineapple, and spread it out. Then we have, you need a sleeve or a sleeve and a half. I have a sleeve and a half of Ritz crackers and you just want to crush those and put it over the top of the cheese and spread it out. Now take your melted butter and pour it over the top. Now we're gonna bake this at 350 for 30 minutes. So I left this in for exactly 30 minutes and I've never eaten this or made this so I don't know if it's supposed to be browner or not. It looks perfect to me and it smells wonderful. So you can see there, no matter how much you drain that pineapple, it still is gonna have juice in it because when it heats up, the juice is gonna come out. Uh, but I am um, I'm making sure that I don't uh, touch my crackers to that though. So I still do get crisp crackers in the top. Uh, but this is how it looks. So this is Martha Jane Howe's pineapple casserole. Yes, you read that right, pineapple casserole. This is a wonderful and easy to make dish that goes especially well with baked ham or a green bean casserole. And it says it serves eight. 
So there you go. I bet you could get more than that out of it if you wanted to. I put it in a little bitty dish just because we're trying it. But yeah, normally I guess you put it on your plate with everything else. Right. But it smells like it would be sweet. Hmm. That's a very unique flavor. You get the cheese, you get the Ritz, and you get the pineapple, which is... I want to get more of those Ritz. Different. I tell you what, you get a lot of the pineapple though. Mm. It throws the flavor a completely different way than if you just get kind of the cheese and the topping. I think it's wonderful. It is very good. It's just, it's so different. I love it. Um, I tell you what, you're using an entire stick of butter on the top, and you really taste the butter, the Ritz. The, you the taste, toasty Ritz. Yes, the, the Ritz, the butter, you definitely taste that cheese, and you taste the pineapple. Mm-mm-mm. Like I said, when you get a big mouthful of the pineapple, it's almost too much, but it's it's, it's not. It's, it's it's like I said, it's very weird. The pineapple is nice because it, it gives your teeth something to chew in, to bite into. And, you and get, it's hot with our soup. And it gives you the texture. Um, I'm just thinking all these years, we could have been making this for a part of like Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Imagine, I mean, this was just so, so easy. It was. To me, this seems like it would be um, a perfect side uh, casserole for Thanksgiving. Well, I can tell you that me, Tammy, and maybe Christina would eat it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's probably it. Because mm -hmm. yeah. you know the grandkids aren't eating it. Ashley and Andrew aren't eating it. Um, I don't know. Amelia might try this because Amelia, our grandchild Amelia, she really likes fruit. She's so, adventurous too. Yeah, she's adventurous, so she might like it. And most people would think probably that a cheese and the pineapple wouldn't go together. But then we've had comments throughout the years that people eat cheese with apple all the time, that it's very common. We've never done that, mm -hmm. but it's supposed to be very common. So this this absolutely works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does really work. I think it, it's great. I yeah, love it. I love the buttery Ritz crackers, which yes. like, I, like I've said many times, I love Ritz anyway. Um, yeah. The Ritz crackers are even butterier than they are originally. Yes. Um, and then you do get that cheese kind of flavor, which is surprising that cheese comes through that much because yes. I usually don't taste cheese in any of that. Right. Um, and then you just get that burst of sweetness from the pineapple. It's good. It's different, but it's good. Yes, it's very good. So now if I made this for Thanksgiving, would you eat some? Yeah, I would put it on the plate with the turkey and stuff because I could mm -hmm. see this going really well. With, they said ham. They I said could also ham. say turkey mm -hmm. would go good too because, you know, you like turkey with cranberry sauce, which is kind of like a sweeter kind of tartness. Mm -hmm. um, this just adds a sweet uh, saltiness. So. And pineapple goes good with ham anyway. It does. They go well together. But I still think it would go good with turkey. I, th I think it would too, yeah. I, I really do think this is something, if you have a Christmas dinner, a Thanksgiving dinner, mm -hmm. Easter dinner, because you have yep. typically have ham at Easter. Try it out. Try it out probably beforehand, mm -hmm. before you want to make that a main dish at a, ho a holiday, but mm -hmm. I think you'll like it. It doesn't it's cost so that quick, much to... Yeah, it's so quick and easy that yeah. it won't be any big deal for you to make it. And you didn't have to have any special pan. I just used, you know, a regular... If you have a regular... Um, like a brownie pan or... A anything, you could use it, yeah. Cake pan might be a little too thin. It would be too big, a cake pan. Something smaller, though, a smaller baking dish, and this is perfect. Right. Uh, but you'll have to let me know. Maybe you've made this before and it's called something different besides pineapple casserole. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.